In this video, I would like to discuss um, an introduction to palpation markers for physical therapy, examination, and treatment. When we are palpating structures, I think it is important to remember three keys. Um, first key is patient consent and patient privacy. So before you touch the patient, it's always good to gain consent and explain what you will be doing and why, and just make sure the patient is comfortable with that. Um, included in this is patient modesty, and so different structures may necessitate draping or covering patient areas, so you can utilize a towel or a gown for draping, but you can do that with the different body areas that it is necessary to do that So, patient consent and modesty is a big key. Second key is to utilize purposeful palpation, and what I mean by that is sometimes when you're learning to palpate, it's easy to want to kind of walk your fingers like this, but it's you're kind of just tickling the patient. You're not really being purposeful. So what I tend to suggest is utilizing either a hand over hand technique and gradually applying pressure or utilizing kind of your finger pads um, at either a muscle or soft tissue structure or at some of our bony landmarks. Just being very purposeful with where you are touching instead of kind of walking all the way around. That'll give the patient a better opportunity to provide feedback whether that structure yeah, creates painful and it'll also give you a better sense for the third key I would like to introduce is to when you are practicing and using these palpation techniques try to link structure to function that will not only help you be uh, more efficient with your palpation uh, but it will help your clinical decision making and it will help your learning for the different types of palpation because you won't just be memorizing but you'll be putting it into clinical context. For example, if I'm palpating areas or structures around my knee, I can come um, from my lateral thigh, I can palpate the IT band, and I can palpate it all the way down to its insertion here at this bony landmark which is Gertie's tubercle. So if I link this bony landmark with its functional implication which is insertion of the IT band that helps me remember not only where it inserts but it helps me get a sense for if a patient is tender here then it might be due to an IT band irritation. So in my mind that's a lot more helpful than just memorizing the bony land.